I live beside Bobby's sister, Goldie. I promised that lady 25 years ago when she was dying that we'd go back to Bonneville and get those records back for Bobby. Wow. He just went out there and did what he had to do. He knew he didn't want to work in a bean field and driving that race car was his way out. He came from a very poor family. What do you think there, big man? I'm gonna leave him, man. He gave me cold chills. Wow, it's pretty. That's for you. Unbelievable. My man. whole family. Unbelievable. It was brought back a lot of memories to me. And to see Bobby come here and I mean I love my grandfather to death. I'd give anything to have a piece of what he did. But it's just, you know, it's not there. He was a coal miner. And to be able to give somebody like Bobby and the Isaac family back a piece of history that let them know people care. And I know what it means to you, you know? It's the world to me. I know it is. Wouldn't be here without you guys. Junior and Goldie and Johnny and all of them. Told you I'd pay you back. It's money in the making, man. That's money in the making right there. That's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it ain't even done. Look at it. Just imagine. That means a lot. I'm the kind of person that, if we're gonna do it, let's do it. What I think about is, is you know, what are the next steps and how are we gonna optimize our path to, 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 to success? It, it'll happen. Yeah, well, I, yeah, they tack those on, yeah. We basically, it's base. if this was a legitimate cup car, it would, you know, it would be right kind of where they put Yeah, yeah. You know, we didn't want to over-engineer mm -hmm. weight bias and different things. But so. the lines are great. I think shortening that nose a little bit really helps a lot. If you just look at it and say, oh, we're just going to start with the technology that we all know today and just work off of, you know, just, just new stuff, that's not that appealing as well. I was talking to Vance when we started gathering all the components for this. Each little piece makes a difference. Absolutely, and what, I mean, just having the, the, the carbon fiber details and all really, really dresses it up. It's like you gotta, you're taking something, an old body, and putting new technology, it's gotta flow. It's kinda like you, you wanna do the best of both worlds. You know, you wanna, you wanna take Take the experience of what the great, you know, the, the racers have learned and, 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 and build on it. So what do you figure this car is going to weigh? I would be happy if we were it, totally ready to go. About a 31, you know, with no lead in it for, you know, not, Bonneville will stack it. With yeah, yeah, yeah. But for like Arkansas, I think I'd be pretty happy if we ended about 3,100 pound range. You know, I, I think 28 would be a gift, probably not attainable. Um, because we knew we were going to Bonneville, so we we focused on durability. Yeah, sure. And you know, mm -hmm. and that with that comes a little extra weight. So if we can be twenty eight would be a gift. Three thousand would be awesome. I think we're going to be about thirty one hundred. You know, I want to pick his brain, and then you know, I want to figure out you know what what he's thinking, and and then try to help apply some of the things that I might know to look at it a little bit differently, maybe help. Are you gonna do anything to, to close this at all or leave it open? I don't know, we're gonna kinda, we'll get through Arkansas and get through testing and, and we'll kinda see. How it behaves. See, see how it goes. You know, if anything, it, it would help keep salt out, you know, out mm -hmm. from underneath there. 
there's a whole nostalgia point of view too about thinking about it where you're just taking it to the next level but with, with vehicles that are recognizable and people know we're ahead of their time. And so we're just gonna move them a little bit farther ahead of their time. What do you think, Kenny? Badass, isn't it? Yeah. Very, very, very badass. Yeah, everybody does their little part and it comes together yep, really well. Yep, yep. It really does. You know? So if you're gonna do real stuff, you have to you have to have it like that. Well, all these guys, they're so good at what they do, and they know that what the way I want it. Sometimes they even want it better than what I would want. So it, it works out mm -hmm. really well. Yeah, absolutely. We are what we are, and that's why I like where I'm at. I mean, we have the obvious resources to move up to bigger, better things and be this and be that, but I believe in being humble, and I like our facilities. It's not the fanciest but some of the fastest cars on, you know, come out of here. When you pull on this road and you pull down here in this park, I didn't expect this to be a shop where they make a cup car go 236 mile an hour, you know, in Arkansas. I didn't know, I, it doesn't look like that. You pull in and I knew, you know, like Billy Ryan, I'm like, oh, there's a Ryan Enterprises. And it's like, GPS is like, it's right here. I'm like, where? All I seen was like stored containers and a camper. The first few times I walked in, I was like, what the heck are they doing here? I'd say we like to do the impossible and be successful at it. I'm in constant contact with people like John Force and all the guys at Don Schumacher Racing, Andretti Motorsports, Joe Gibbs Racing, Dale Earnhardt Jr. The garage shop is so unique in that it's small, it's compact, but it provides the same technology and the same expertise as any of those guys. The stuff that comes out of this building right here, second to none. We, we shouldn't lock that down until we do the deck lid and all that. As long as we got this here right now, yeah. that, that'll help. This'll come to it. Aaron has this giant sandbox that he lets us come play in. And he shares with us. We're back to the old days of having fun and enjoying it and not making it painful or worrying. It's right under this line. I'd butt, I'd butt the package train up right to that yeah. convenient. I think that'd be a good place to go. That when you really want special things that does come out of, out of small teams of the right people and, and, and that work together and know each other, trust each other, um, then they can pull off really big things. It's, it's when you get a big group of people and they're all disjointed, but, the things miss and they don't, you know, not, all the details are not right. And so small group, small team of the right people can accomplish great things like this car. You happy? Yeah, man. I'll tell you what. Incredible. We're gonna let you down. Well, I know that. <laughs> Everybody knows Richard Petty. Everybody knows Bobby Allison. But Leroy Yarborough and Bobby Isaac stomped them all over the racetrack in 1969, 1970, and nobody knows that. And I think it's a story that needs to be told.